Hello, Facebook friends. This is Love Coach Scott Katamas. And it's been a full day, full week. And I just wanted to come on briefly and share some thoughts. Because I have kind of a, a unique position of um, serving as a guide, as a coach, as a counselor to a lot of people from all over the United States, and actually Australia and Europe as well. And it's been really interesting for me to see the very different perspectives that people have about this coronavirus crisis that we're in. I also am kind of fortunate in that I have um, access to some people that are really truly in a very knowledgeable scientific understanding of what's going on with this global pandemic. And so, of course, there's some things none of us know, and I'm certainly not here to be a fortune teller, but I do wanna offer from my heart some perspective. First off, this event is quite possibly the greatest and biggest global event of our lives so far. It's probably bigger than 911, Certainly for me, a big event, I was only eight, but the Kennedy assassination, John F. Kennedy's assassination, and then uh, five years later when his brother was killed, those were big events. But this is a worldwide global event that's impacting almost every country, absolutely changing our economy, changing the way we do life. And it's gonna go on for a while. Uh, we certainly can be optimistic uh, as best as I understand it, there are two really big questions as far as how long it's going to go for. One is how quickly can there be a genuine antidote and vaccine created that is uh, easily manufactured and distributed that works? And that's a huge question. I mean, if we're lucky, it could happen fast. And if we're not fortunate, it could take quite a while. The other question is when you look at, at virus pandemics like this, they sweep around the world in cycles. Uh, I really want to encourage everybody to Google the 1918 pandemic, also known as the Spanish flu. Go to Wikipedia, read up about it. It was very informative for me to see, oh, wow, we actually went through something like this before. And of course, the world is very different than 100 years ago. And it's actually different in ways that are challenging because now we are all having much more contact with each other uh, than we even did back then. And so it's much more of a global thing. But it actually took three trips around the world. The second trip around being actually the most devastating. So of course we want this to be over quickly, of course. And we all need to be prepared for the possibility and from what I understand, probability, this is gonna go on longer than any of us want. Most of us right now are just feeling the economic fear and concern and the uh, social distancing part of it. How so many things that we used to do, we can't do right now. Most of us are not feeling the actual health impact yet other than a couple of people I know in New York. Uh, but in terms of my peer group and the people that I'm connecting with my friends, my clients. But as the health impact hits, as more and more people we know are exposed and some get sick and possibly some die, that's gonna be a whole new wave of impact on us. And we need to prepare for that. Again, holding the highest vision possible, and it's kind of like pray to Allah and tell your camel. Hold the highest vision, uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And I think those are really important words for us at this time. Uh, because I see that there are some people that are on the far spiritual side of it, but there's a certain spiritual bypassing and then there are other people that are absolutely just consumed with the fear and the paranoia of it all. And let's find that balance in between.
where we are allowing ourselves to feel whatever emotions are arising, fear, anxiety, concern. And I know people that feel guilty because they're actually uh, having a good day and enjoying their time with their family and enjoying their days. It's like, wow, I kind of feel guilty, Scott, that I'm having a great life still and all this stuff is going on around me. Hey, that's okay. Let's make an agreement. No blame, no shame, no guilt. Let's all be present to what is within us. And I'm, I'm going to keep using the word wave. It's a wave sweeping the world. And each of us are going to experience waves of emotion, waves of fear, waves of hope, waves of spiritual connection, perhaps, waves of uh, anxiety. These are all things that are probably going to go through for us. It's really important to be present and to make sure you're feeling connected to other people. That's why uh, Love Coach Academy, my company, is offering free empathy support every day, 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific time. Free, and our love coaches are amazing, really connecting with people. We want to really grow that community. So please join us every day, 9 o'clock in the morning, Pacific time, 6 p.m. in the evening, Pacific time. Join our Compassion Talk program, where we're offering tips, tools, practices, and empathy. We're going to probably grow it out so that we can, once we have enough people coming, we'll start having people going into private rooms to get private coaching with some of our coaches. And I guess the last thing I want to share with each of you is absolutely cultivate whatever practices you have in your life. Um, practices that help you to feel more connected to yourself practices that help you feel more connected to whatever you want to call it, your higher self, God, the universe. Um, but this is a good time for us to really cultivate healthy practices, meditation, prayer, musical instruments, painting, martial arts, yoga, a religious practice. Whatever practices you've done in the past that have brought you joy, that have helped you to relax and enjoy life more, hobbies, embrace them. Set aside and try not to spend too much time uh, overstimulating yourself with scary news. Get, get some, find a couple places that are good resources, but don't spend eight hours a day reading one story after another, after another, after another. Get a little bit of information, know what you need to know, but then spend time connecting with friends, spend time in nature, spend time doing your practices. Now is the time for us to create really healthy, balanced lives, okay? This is our opportunity to really, okay, everything's changing, everything's slowing down. Let's create more balance in our life, more focus on our body temple, building our immune system more focus on our most important relationships, including relationship to self and relationship to whatever spiritual practice you might have. And for anybody who's agnostic or atheist, that's totally fine. More focus on uh, playing a musical instrument or doing yoga or something like that, or your most important human connections. So just reminding you Hopefully what I'm sharing resonates and hopefully it's just a reminder of what you already know or hopefully what you're already doing. And it's coming from me out of love and out of care. And certainly because I'm doing this by myself, I'm not reading the comments now. I will go back and take a look at the comments. Uh, and I'd love to know what would you, if I am gonna come on and do these, what do you wanna hear more of? What do you wanna talk about? What's alive for you? Your comments mean a lot to me. And I will go back, I'll read them and I'll respond. The last thing I just wanna finish with then is, as most of you know, I believe the meaning of life is we're here to learn to love, starting with ourself. And wow, what an extraordinary opportunity we have now to really love ourselves even more. Even as all these things are being taken away from us, all these 
wonderful things that we've enjoyed that we can't do right now. All right, where do I want to put my time? Where do I want to put my attention? Are you putting your time and attention into things that are creating more love in your life? Self-love, self-care, love and care for others? Yes. And if you're not, then let's reevaluate where are we going to put our time and attention? No right or wrong, no good or bad, but just my encouragement for us to use this as an opportunity to cultivate more compassion for ourselves and for others. Thank you very much for listening. Now must stay, now must go, now must stay away. That's my new plan words. Take care, everybody. Good night.